aperture grill let us discuss this very topic now what is an aperture grill if this question is is to come in our exams then what how to answer that one so that is an alternative to accomplishing the masking function which adopted by some crts so this is nothing but one masking function in the previous video we discussed the shadow mask so that is also another masking function which you use in our crts so instead of a shadow mask they use an aperture grill and in the system the metal mesh is replaced by a hundreds of fine metal strips that run vertically from the top of the screen to the bottom in our shadow mask we had the porous that means we having one uh, metal sheet which is having certain holes so against this particular holes we are having three dots of the phosphor for three different colors three electron beams electron gums are the guns are there so from there electron beams will be emerging and those electron beams will will go through pass through that shadow mask and will impinge on the respective phosphor dot so that was the concept in our uh, in our shadow mask which you discussed in our earlier video but here in case of aperture grill we are finding that there are so many metal strips are there and they are vertically arranged and that is a gap in between always so here you can find their metal strips and phosphors on the glass face plate so the, here we are having this phosphor on the glass uh, glass face plate and here we are having three beam electron guns so there will be the respective electron beams will be emerging will be coming out from them and they will pass through this slots and then that will be impinging on this phosphor so that is the basic concept of this aperture grill okay now so in this system the metal mesh is replaced by hundreds of fine metal strips that run vertically from the top of the screen to the button in this shirt is the electron guns are placed side by side like this one so it is not arranged in the triangle but they will be arranged in side by side not in the triangular fashion it has been mentioned here the gaps between the metal wares allow the three electron beams to illuminate the adjacent columns of the colored phosphor which are arranged in alternating strips of red green and blue colors the fine vertical wares block less amount of the electron beam that ordinary shadow masks resulting in the brighter and sharper image so this particular strips will block lesser amount of electron beams so obviously we are expecting brighter image in that case and this design is most common in sony's popular triniton and triniton monitors are curved on the horizontal plane and are flat on the vertical plane so here you can see that we are having the same image which was there, there in the earlier slide where we are having this metal strips three electron guns and they are placed side by side and this is our phosphor on the glass face, face plate and here we are having this the total thing is known as the aperture grill so this is actually the aperture grill this one so this is the difference between shadow mask and the aperture grill so now here you can see that here we are having this triad containing three dots in case of shadow mask but in case of aperture grill the things will be coming the rays will be uh, passing through these strips and then this is the outcome on the phosphor plate so this is known as the aperture grill and how does it operate what is the difference between shadow mask and aperture grill why aperture grill is better than shadow mask all these aspects we have discussed in this video thanks for watching